This is a News Channel 2 special report. Some breaking news out of Frankfurt that we want to update you on. We'll get you back to the Olympics momentarily. Uh, a massive fire burning out of control in the village of Frankfurt at this point. The former Union Tools facility is on fire. Now, the original dispatch came in as you see some of the pictures uh, while I'm talking. We'll scroll through some of the pictures sent to us by viewers, and then we're going to take a look at some video that just came back from the scene. Uh, we're told the original dispatch was building number eight, and then we can't confirm this, but we're told that the fire then spread to perhaps nine additional buildings. Uh, this this is some video fr uh, back from the scene. You can see how massive uh, this fire is. Uh, again, this is the former Union Tools site on Main Street in Frankfurt. Uh, we're told uh, could be upwards of uh, 10 to 12 buildings involved in this fire right now. Uh, multiple fire departments on the scene from parts of two counties, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, the fire came in just around 2 o'clock this afternoon, uh, and the first arriving units could see, could see heavy smoke uh, as soon as they got there. And in fact, the smoke could be seen for miles. To give you some perspective, we're on Smith Hill in Deerfield, which is probably a good seven or eight miles as the crow flies. Uh, and we could see the smoke from the top of Smith Hill uh, all the way to this fire in Frankfurt. Now we're going to switch. This is a live picture coming to you from our, uh, our satellite truck. Uh, this is the back of the building. That's a three story building right there. That's a vantage point from, uh, for those of you not familiar, from the north side of the village. Uh, that's Sheldon Ave, B Street, uh, Industrial Drive. Uh, that's where our, our vantage point is right now. Uh, and you see that this fire is still obviously burning out of control. Let's take Google Maps. That's a good image for you right there. What you can see, uh, those two white roofed buildings, that is part of it. Okay, we, we don't know which, it, what buildings exactly are burning. Uh, we're told building number eight, but the, obviously these buildings aren't labeled. Union tools are those one, two, three, four. You see the black roofed buildings? That's the entire Union Tools complex, plus those white buildings in, in between. Good evening, everybody. It is likely the biggest fire in Herkimer County history, and it's still burning tonight. The flames broke out at the former Union Tools site in Frankfurt right around 2 this afternoon and quickly spread to several buildings on the property. Team coverage for you tonight. Dozens of fire crews are still on scene. The fire initially started in building 8. That's out now. The newest information from the scene, News Channel 2's Hillary Lane has been following this story from the very beginning. Hillary, what can you tell us? Good evening, Kristen and Bill. Now it's been just about four hours since the fire here broke out. And as you can see, there still is smoke billowing from the building. Now, when we first arrived on the scene this afternoon, it was this building right behind me that was completely engulfed. Now it seems as if the fire has spread to an adjacent building directly behind that building right over there. All of the fire departments from Herkimer County are here and half from Oneida County. Now, just about 4 p.m., everyone here heard a very loud noise. That was when the roof completely collapsed inside of the building. Now fire officials say they are ready for the four walls to also collapse in as well. Now, most importantly, no one was in the building when the fire broke out and no injuries on scene have been reported. Well, this June, Frankfurt Mayor Frank Morocco had said there was a developer interested in that property, but he wouldn't go into details on who. Well, that's when the State Department of Conservation announced a major cleanup effort, including the demolition of the buildings at the site. Morocco stood on scene watching today as dozens of firefighters did their work, thinking about the company that once was. It's been part of Frankfurt. It, it, it's put so many people to work here locally in our community. It's seen generation after generation. News Channel 2's Jolene Ferris is live on scene to tell us more about what they're saying tonight, how they can't believe this is happening. Jolene, good evening. Thanks, Kristen. Yes, Union Fork and Hoe has been empty for about five and a half years, and yes, it was going to be demolished anyway, but the neighbors we spoke with say it's still tough to see it go down like this, consumed and then toppled by flames. We could feel it and we smell something funny. We're outside working on one of our vehicles and we look up and all you can see is black smoke. Just a few minutes ago, I saw some people walking away from the fire scene with a red wagon and a container filled with ketchup and mustard, obviously. So really a community effort here, bringing food and water to the firefighters. And the crowds watching, though, have pretty much thinned at this point. The mayor did tell us earlier he expected fighting this fire to in all likelihood be an all night thing. Back to you. 
All right, Jolene Ferris from Industrial Drive in Frankfurt, and no injuries reported right now. We'll keep you updated on that. Dozens of viewers are sending us photos they captured of the fire at Union Tools. We have a gallery for you. You can find it at WKTV.com.